What you see behind us may seem like a landfill to you, but it's actually tons and tons of garbage that has washed up the shores of Mumbai's beaches. And we're here to cover a citizen-led initiative, a clean-up drive on the beach of Varsova, to showcase how people are taking matters in their own hand when it comes to cleaning their cities. It's a people's movement to reclaim this beach that has been lost to tons and tons of plastic. It's been 92 weeks and these people, ordinary Mumbaikars, have been here week after week. Sunday Sunday generation ne bahut misuse kiya hai hum to ye kahenge bahut misuse kiya hai apne resources to mera to intention ye hai ki hamare bacche jo dhai akshar ke hamara ngo hai dhai akshar for underprivileged children to hum chahte hain ki inme awareness ho ki hum log apne resources kis tarah se istemal kare aur kam se kam uska misuse kare to ye jo pura hamara exercise is to spread awareness among the children ki हमी लोग जो भी कचरा है जो भी गंदगी है वो हम ही क्रिएट करते हैं तो अगर हम उसको नहीं करें तो आई थिंक वी हैव अ बेटर क्लीनर एनवायरनमेंट टू लिव इन यू आर समबडी हु वर्क्स एज अ मैनेजमेंट प्रोफेशनल थ्रू द वीक एंड दिस इज परहैप्स डाउन टाइम फॉर यू ओवर द वीकेंड बट इज दिस perhaps the ideal way that you would want to spend your weekend? A way to start a weekend actually. Segregating your waste, have you started, you know, not taking plastic bags while you're buying your vegetables or any other groceries? Absolutely, and I'm very strict with everyone at home as well. Okay. So we have, plast uh, we have uh, the cloth bags and we avoid plastic uh, bags when by especially buying vegetables, groceries, everything. Many people from across the world have made Mumbai their home. Claudia too feels she wants to give back something to the city which has given her 20 glorious years. I guess it's just that little hope that whatever small I can do, I want to do. And I've been trying to work other ways and it's always come down to groups, subgroups and sub-subgroups which are deciding that somebody should be employed but basically by then we've run out of money. So it's not working in an organized way. So this is great. And yeah, I hope to set an example. Maybe even if people are not helping and not clearing, at least they won't throw anymore. That would be already a good achievement. How do you spread the word about something like this? Yeah, 
there is a lot of enthusiasm in the sense I always post on Facebook or I post on other social media also. And there, with every post, there will be like five people say, yeah, this is great. Next weekend, I want to come. Please tell me, where is it? When is it? I will come. So then on Friday, I will announce, okay, or tomorrow it's at 8 o'clock at the Versova Jetty and nobody comes. So then we, I follow up and ask, so what happened? No, you know, it was raining and it was so sunny and it was too windy and my daughter felt sick and my husband was not well and nobody comes. It's always, there is a lot of wish for change, but it's just that people, I guess, are so tired from the week. They just can't get out of bed on the weekend. So what to say? What worries me a lot right now is that the BMC has decided that they are going to not collect the wet trash any longer. Which means that every society, at least in the suburbs, I don't know about town side, is supposed to compost by themselves. Which is a very nice idea and a great concept, but it's not going to work. And the moment the BMC will stop collecting the wet garbage, you can expect a plentiful increase in the illegal dumping because people will not, compound, uh, will not compost in their compounds. It's going to be smelly, it's going to be stinky, there's no space. So as long as the government is not able to, maybe some 50, 60 kilometers outside, start with a composting plant, biogas plant, whatever, in an organized way, it's not going to do much. what I can do. This is where I can take my own responsibility and this is what I'm doing right now. And I'm hoping somebody else, somebody younger, somebody local can learn from this and do the need. Simone, you were making a really interesting point about how certain beaches are in a state of neglect because they are not the popular ones. What what were you trying to tell? Correct. It's uh, in some beaches it actually works very well. You have 30 week workers on a daily basis. You have a JCB. You have a truck to cart off the garbage. It's just that most of the beaches it's not like that. Like in Vosova, we have six BMC workers who come on a daily basis with just the little plastic pails and that's it. I mean, what can they do on a daily basis? Obviously, they need help from machines. There needs to be more manpower. And it would be lovely if Vosova could get to that, if all the beaches in Bombay could get to that and not only the popular beaches. Is it because they have the celebrity backing? I and... think so, also because it's a tourist spot. Like you see the big buses, the Mumbai Darshan, they stop there, everyone goes, right? Then bandstand, bandstand if you go actually, it's pick and span, which sure. is lovely. The point is, it can be done. Why only in some parts, you know? Why are some people more equal than others? <laughs> so, yeah, it would be nice to have an equally clean coastline everywhere. On my birthday, actually, I made a cake of beach cleaning. I said everybody has to come, but afterwards nobody came. Nobody came? Yeah, but if they are watching this, I wish many people come, the youngsters mostly, right. for the future generation. हाँ कूड़ा साफ करते हैं लेकिन शाम को बार टेंडिंग करते हैं। यस यस वो शाम को ऑफिस होता है हमारा और सैटरडे संडे दो से ढाई घंटे तीन घंटे जो भी टाइम मिलता है हम लोग यहाँ पे आते हैं बीच पे। अच्छा मैं रेगुलर बीच वॉक करता हूँ तो जब भी मैं स्टार्ट में वॉक करता था तो आई कैन कीप सिंगल जो मेरा पैर है विदाउट प्लास्टिक मैं नहीं रख सकता हूँ आप खुद देखते हैं और मैं पूरी फैमिली के साथ में मैं चाहता हूँ कि और भी लोग जुड़े ये जितनी जल्दी से जल्दी क्लीन होगा हमारा बीच उतना अच्छा होगा हर के मोहल्ले वाले लोग कहते हैं कि ये क्या कैसा परिवार है ये कूड़ा बटोरने चला जाता है हर सैटरडे संडे वो क्या कहते हैं वो लोग कुछ बोलते हैं कभी कुछ बोलते हैं लेकिन हम लोग सुनते नहीं हम लोग आते हैं
बीच लोगों को लोगों का काम है कहना यस कहना हमारा काम है करना और उनको बताना कि दिस इज द ट्रू At the front lines of every initiative like this are the workers who are really the sort of foot soldiers of this entire campaign. These are women who work with the BMC. और ये लोग जो आके मदद कर रहा है आज, इन लोगों को देखके कैसा लगता है कि ये लोग अपने आप बहुत अच्छा लगा। मेरे को हम लोग मदद करते करके हम लोग बहुत खुश हैं। अच्छा। हाँ। हाँ। बहुत खुश हैं हम लोग। अच्छा। तब बात-बात करते हैं, अच्छे से दोस्ती करते हैं। दोस्ती करते हैं, Their entire 92-week effort, you know, when you see all this garbage which has washed up the shores of Mumbai and especially this particular beach that you guys helped clean up, is it disheartening to see that Mumbai learns no lessons whatsoever? No, I'll tell you, uh, the logic is simple. Uh, we have littered, we must clean it up. Uh, we can't wait too long for the government or the courts to react. Uh, we have waited for 70 years after independence. This is my planet, my earth, my ocean. I must get dirty and deep. That's one aspect of it. The second aspect, uh, you know, you talked about uh, disheartening. It is not at all disheartening. This is an opportunity. When you see plastic on the beach, uh, the ocean is telling us, it's a very logical and scientific explanation, which you'll find it. Uh, these beach acts as net. What we have thrown in the ocean, the beach catches it as a net. And the beach, the ocean is telling us, clear it up. Because if you don't clear this in time, this will go into the deep sea, never to come back. But if this plastic goes into the sea, the marine species, you know, the birds ingest it, the fishes swallow it, and once it goes in their stomach, it can't be retrieved. Or once it goes into the deep sea, you can't get it back. Okay, I'll tell you, we are 22 million in Mumbai. There are 1.5 billion in India. You have to become a responsible citizen. And I say that not only from the point of view that it's morally or ethically, but from a constitution and legal point of view. Under constitution, you have a duty to protect the environment. When you come to the court and you tell the policeman did this to me, the judges said we'll protect you because the constitution says so. That same constitution which seek protection and that tells us you must protect the ocean and the environment.